India has reaffirmed its space power as Chandrayaan-2 orbiter has confirmed the findings of Chandrayaan-1. The discovery made by the orbiter's imaging spectrometer has paved the way for future lunar explorations as it confirmed the presence of water on moon. The latest discovery of water and hydroxyl molecules on the lunar surface by the Chandrayaan-2's IIRS instrument not only confirms what Chandrayaan-1 has discovered as the presence of water and hydroxyl molecules, but also gives a hope, a lot of hope, of able to get a detailed lunar water map. I think that one will enable the future exploration, be it by India or by the international community, to looking for a more fertile, more resourceful place on the lunar surface. That way, be it for a tourism or a serious science mission or being an outpost on the lunar surface or be a lunar colony, whatever it is, to make humans' presence for longer time, uh, this map will enable you a lot. Chandrayaan 1, which means the moon vehicle, was launched in 2008, was followed by NASA's M3 experiment. Although M3 confirmed Chandrayaan 1 discovery and provided evidence of water in the moon's shadowed region, it was unable to provide a vivid difference between hydroxyl ions and water molecules. So the mission met with no conclusion. However, a decade later, the Chandrayaan 2 was launched in July last year. It had a hard time landing in September when the Vikram lander crash landed just uh, 2.1 kilometers away from its destination. But its orbiter with lifespan of seven years traveled its course on the probe onward, on board. So what exactly was the difference between Chandrayaan-1 and Chandrayaan-2 that made the confirmation possible? The $150 million highly complex Chandrayaan-2 provided eight scientific instruments and a spectrometer wavelength of over 5 microns. This was way superior than the earlier specifications of 0.7 to 3 microns. The findings were led by ISRO's Dehradun, Ahmedabad and Bengaluru team. They told uh, about the unambiguous water molecules on the moon surface. The powerful spectrometer analyzed three strips of the moon covering. It aimed to study multiple geological formations. The author said the space weathering can be a widespread source of water. It happens when the solar winds interact with the surface of the moon in the absence of a magnetic field in space. As a weathering effect, the molecules are formed on the moon surface. The distribution of these molecules depends on temperature variation. The higher the temperature, the easier it gets for the hydrogen bonds to break, leading to water formation. The successful landing of Chandrayaan-2 would have made India the fourth country to land a rocket on the moon. Chandrayaan-2 was launched with the aim of mapping the variations in the moon's surface. Although it did not go as planned, the spacecraft was, has made a significant mark when it comes to India's space exploration journey. India is now set to launch much more advanced Chandrayaan-3 in 2022. If successful, it will make India the first to land close to the lunar south pole. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.